Hi, stamping friends. Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Um, thank you so much for being here today. I, I said in my little announcement, this is going to be a short Facebook Live and you probably can guess why. <laughs> I sound a little bit different than usual. <clears throat> I actually sounded a little bit better earlier, <laughs> but I have been fighting a bug. So um, I don't have a lot of voice in me. So I'm going to keep this short. I have... Um, <clears throat> Oh my goodness, hopefully I won't have to clear my throat every other second. Um, hi Carol, nice to see you. Welcome. Um, so I have two quick projects for you and they're really only quick because I've done a lot of the steps ahead of time, um, partly to preserve my voice <laughs> since I sound pretty funny and it's kind of hard to talk. So um, uh, anyway, I'm not even going to have any announcements today, no announcements. I'm just going to put the camera face down and get started by showing you a couple of projects. Now, um, the two I'm showing you are what I'm calling non-traditional Christmas cards. And they're actually non-traditional because you can really change out the sentiment and um, make it into really any style of card you want. And I have actually, I am going to use a different sentiment on uh, the version that I'm showing you today. So, <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to face the camera down and show you what I have in store. Um, and actually, just quickly while I have, uh, <clears throat> while I'm facing the camera, oh my goodness, I have some water off here to the side, so I may need to stop and take a drink of water every once in a while. Um, hi, Denise, welcome. <laughs> Good to have you here. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be using the Very Bear Size stamp set. You guys probably already know by now. It's one of my favorites. Um, and for this first project, I'm also using the, um, what is this called? The Brick and Mortar Embossing Folder, also a favorite. Hi, Allison. Welcome. Hi, Laura Lee. <laughs> um, you didn't hear. You can probably tell I'm a little bit sick right now, so my voice is a little bit strange. <laughs> so I apologize. Hopefully, I just won't have to... Uh, be coughing and um, clearing my throat every two seconds. So I'm going to face the camera, da camera down and show you the projects I have in store. Uh, I should medicate and go to bed. Well, I've actually been in bed a lot the last um, uh, 48 hours, and so I'm probably better now than I have been in the last 48 hours. But um, anyway, I'm here, and I'm going to show you what I got. <laughs> I'll go to bed afterwards, probably promptly. Actually. Okay, so facing the camera down. <clears throat> so for this first card, as I, I mentioned a little bit earlier, if you didn't hear me say, um, I've done a lot of the steps ahead of time just to minimize the amount of talking that I need to do. So um, as I said, I'm using this brick and mortar embossing folder and I have um, dry embossed my on, on a piece of white and I'm just going to put it on a, a basic black card base. <clears throat> so today I had the pleasure of my um, my daughter, my 19-year-old daughter, um, come and hang out with me. She got home for the, the day from college. She brought me soup, and we hung out, and uh, she kind of took care of me, which was really pretty awesome. So that made me feel a whole lot better. And if she hadn't come home, I probably would have been trying to do some work, which would be a bad idea. I did a little bit this morning, but it just sort of forced me to take a break, which was great. So for this first card, I have um, stamped some images with Versamark, and I've heat embossed them with the Shimmer Black Embossing Powder. Um, I'd love to know if any of you guys have used the Shimmer Black Embossing Powder. I know you have Angela because you did it with me. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Welcome. And Gail. Um, and it, it's just really, really pretty. So I've um, stamped that and heat embossed it a few times. And then I've taken the, um, the um, French script image in this set and stamped it first, second, third, fourth inking all around the back and the uh, outside edge. And then... Um, and then did some some uh, scraping of the actual uh, ink pad against the edge of, of a, a memento black ink pad and stamped that image there at the bottom. And I do have it on a basic black piece of cardstock. <clears throat> and I've got dimensionals on the back side. So this is like, like the super high speed showing you a card. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. And so I'm just going to put this along the, the left side and... <clears throat> excuse me, 
I really probably should face myself away when I clear my throat. It's probably really loud in the video. So anyway, this is like 99% of my card there done. And then that's my final version. So the only other thing I did was I heat embossed my sentiment there, also in the shimmer black, sponged around the edges, and then popped it up on dimensionals. So, and you probably saw that, of course, that this piece was on dimensionals as well. So that's card number one, super fast, right? <laughs> the magic of TV and advanced preparation. Okay, so the next project also uses the Very Versailles. Oh, you love the embossing powder. That's great, Barbara. I really love it too. It's just different and pretty, and I love anything that glitters and shines. So um, for this second project, instead of a Christmas sentiment, I'm going to use this sentiment, happy birthday, um, may your day be as beautiful as you, um, from this beautiful day stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. haven't used it in quite a while because it's not one of the newer sets, but I love that sentiment and those images. And I'm also going to be using... Um, the Subtle Embossing Folder, surprise, surprise, I use that a lot, I love that one, and then these Tasteful Backgrounds dies. <clears throat> now these are unique dies in that instead of cutting out the actual shape and getting left with that shape, you get left with a negative space, so um, it makes them a little bit different to work with, so I'm going to show you what I did. So for my card, this was actually um, a team project, and anybody out there who's watching who's one of my team members, and I do have a couple of you who join in regularly who would have gotten maybe this project kit this month, so um, this is your video for how to put your project kit together. So um, anyway, I had actually, for my in-person team members who were here making this card live. I made this little template so that I could put it up against my piece of black cardstock and they could easily know where exactly to put the die. So you can see it's a cutout. It's not um, the shape itself, which was kind of a surprise when I was doing it. So um, uh, the first time I played with the, the dies. So let me get my pieces out here. <clears throat> So I'm using a piece of black, and I've um, dry embossed it with the subtle embossing folder. And then when my uh, team members made it, they lined this up, drew pencil marks, and then, of course, by the magic of TV, they cut it out. <laughs> um, now I also have some rhinestones on there. I've kind of primed it to get it ready for that. So this is one of the elements on the card, which I, I just kind of love. Um, hi, Barbara. Hi, Jean. Hi, Catherine. Welcome. Okay, so moving along. So again, I have a basic black card base. Now, this is, you know, in my mind, it's a non-traditional Christmas card because it's black and white and red, which is um, not exactly traditional. So that's why I'm calling it that. So now I'm going to be using a little piece of this red glimmer paper in behind my cutout. Doesn't that look so pretty? I just love it. Um, and in order for the glimmer paper to stick to my cardstock, I really have to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. So I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to strategically place some of my liquid glue around the outside of the shape. <clears throat> I don't want to put it too, too far away from the shape itself because my my piece is not going to cover the whole thing, so I don't want to um, have a glue showing, which I, I may actually have, have it. Uh, we'll see. So and then I'm just going to put a little bit, a little dab in the center of each of those little flower shapes uh, so that it really holds it down. So now here's my trick. Just how to get it on there. Make sure it's showing where it should. So I'm just going to Put it right over the top. And I got a little bit of glue sticking out the side. So let's take a tissue and wipe that away so I don't get it on my fingers or anywhere where I don't want it. And there we go on the front. Now I'm seeing a little bit of glue, but that should dry. And just dab that off. So there we go with the first element. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece to the front. 
And where I attach it is kind of important because I want, I'm going to be covering up this left side panel and I want my little rhinestones, the center of my flowers, if you will, to show up just to the right of where I'm putting that other black layer. So it, my cutout is kind of peeking out. So that should be okay. So I'm really justifying this dry embossed piece close to the right side. So I'm going to get some adhesive on there. So has anybody else out there purchased or interested in purchasing these tasteful backgrounds dies? Um, they require sort of some different kind of thinking and how you create because you're using the negative space instead of the positive space. But I just loved the shapes and was immediately drawn to them. They coordinate with the um, Tasteful Texture stamp set, which I've used a whole bunch in uh, a lot of different projects, including for the uh, technique class in August. Um, okay, so let's get this on here just so. And it's black on black, so it's kind of subtle. Now you see my edge on the left is a little bit, um, yeah, remind, a poinsettia, there you go. So true. Um, so you have some extra space here on the left, but that's going to get covered up, so it really doesn't matter too much. Yes, they are so elegant. I agree. These dies are so elegant. Okay, let's see. Next, I'm going to assemble my, what I consider really to be my focal point, although this red glimmery element is pretty, pretty showy also. So for my left element, I have um, heat embossed with the white shimmer um, embossing powder. And if you can see the, the shimmer and shine on that, it's super pretty, especially on the black. So, and I have also another subtle element here. So I've taken the, oh, there you go, you can see it maybe in the light, taken the script image and stamped it in Versamark. And, and I think I actually heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. It's very subtle in there, the black on the black, but, um, uh, you can, you know, maybe maybe you can notice it. I think it looks really pretty. So um, now I'm going to attach my this strip of red glimmer paper along the left side. And again, I need to use some white glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit along the edge, not too close to the edge because I don't want it to ooze out. And that was a lot of glue, but I put it kind of far in, so that should be okay. Now I like to have the leaves you know, sort of falling down, if you will. But you could also do it the other way as well, without getting glue on me, I'll just show you. But I, li I like the leaves coming down. So now, I'm just gonna attach my red strip. Oh, oh my goodness, it looks like it's not quite the right size. Well, dang it. <laughs> I might have to fix that one later. So, okay, let's see if we got this. Don't know how that happened. Okay, well anyway, so now I have this piece so that it's creating an edge on the right, the red glimmer on the left, and then it's all gonna get attached with dimensionals right there on the front. Now I can come in my, my handy black um, dimensionals. Just gonna get a bunch of those on there. And hopefully I've got my spacing just so. All right, so that's gonna go on there. Now, I'm actually not gonna attach it because that red strip not being long enough is going to bother me. You guys know me well enough to know that. So I'm not gonna actually attach it, but I'm gonna show you what the ending end product looks like, both the version I did before as well as the new version. So I've um, taken this happy birthday, as I mentioned, from the beautiful day and put some dimensionals on this side. I'll put adhesive on this side because you, this, this left side is raised up, so I need the right side to kind of be at the same height, and I'll just put regular adhesive on there and attach it on the front. So there's gonna be my finished card. Now, here's my actual finished original card, which is the Christmas card. So easily a Christmas card, right? Because it kind of looks like poinsettias. Um, but on this one, also 
a perfectly beautiful happy birthday card too. So what do you guys think? So um, for your question, Catherine, um, the glimmer paper is real red glimmer paper um, that uh, is in the holiday catalog. So um, let's see what else I think. Okay, and then of course, if I you know hadn't already done it, I would use my pick, take your pick tool to go ahead and attach you know to um, the rhinestones. Uh, so that those three rhinestones would be showing. But that's the last step. So there are my cards. So I will have these um, in a blog post up tomorrow on my website with dimensions and a complete supply list if you want to um, go check those out. And um, I will be back um, next, let's, next Thursday, which is... What is next Thursday? Oh, I don't know. It's next Thursday. <laughs> I'm losing my voice again. Um, which one you saw? You saw what? <laughs> um, did you see something else in my workspace that you weren't supposed to see? <laughs> um, uh, or are you talking about the project I just did? Well, anyway, let me know. So um, anyway, I will be back next Thursday, whatever the date is, 7 p.m., my usual time here on Facebook Live. And I will look forward to seeing you then. And thanks for joining me today and sticking through my crazy raspy voice. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks again. Bye, everybody.